What is up, Omash Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing awesome like always and are ready for some new Dragon Ball Super. That's right, first look at the newest set. I have it right here, Vicious Rejuvenation. <laughs> Who thinks of these names? But guys, check it out. The box looks sick. Very nice artwork here. My favorites are the sides. We got some good villains. Here we check out the set. We got 60 commons, 38 uncommons, 30 rares, hollow and non-hollow, unfortunately. Then 23 super rares, 10 special rares, and three secret rares. We will go into the secret rares a little later, but check out this side. So sick, very nice, love this box. Excited to crack open two of them today. I do have a third with more coming. Depending how these two go, I'm, maybe we'll crack open a third. Just like last time, we couldn't stop. <laughs> but guys, if you're a DBZ fan, DBS technically, hit that luck button. Give us some luck today to pull some fire. And also if this is your first time here, welcome to the Omash Nation. Hit that subscribe button and join the fam. I would really appreciate it. We open Pokemon mostly, but we also love and enjoy some Dragon Ball Super. So let's crack open the first box and get to ripping some packs. All right guys. Plastic is off. As you can see here, Revival Pack Box Promotion. Each box contains a Revival Leader, Field, or Reprint. So let's see what this box comes with today. We get a very nice Revival Pack. Okay, let's give it an open. I also have some promos to show you guys. There's the box. First promo pack right here with one of the D Danger <laughs> Wolves. Let's see what this is. Oh man. I have never seen this card. What is this style of card? Return of the King. Look at that horizontal card. That is sick. Guys, this hollow pattern, this texture is insane. That looks awesome. I will take that. That is a cool new card right there. Promo, which brings me with each box, you got two promos. And so these are the ones, I got three boxes at my card store. Mecha Freezer, very nice promo. No texture really, but the hollow pattern's cool. And then a Meta Cooler. Cool little promos, I have tons of them. But also, if you bought a complete box, you got one of these bad boys. No idea what these promos are, but we're about to find out. Makes me wanna say there are a bunch of possibilities that you could get uh, because of what it said right there. Let's see what it is. Oh, whoa, interesting, interesting. So we got a Pycon and a Turles, rare and an uncommon hollow. Okay, guess we gotta open all of them now. <laughs> so if we look at the back here, there are 38 uncommons and 30 rares. <laughs> How's everyone gonna get all 30 of those? Hopefully we get some good ones today. Turles, still need to watch that movie. Let's see, we get, ooh, go Hanks? No, <laughs> what is this? Oh, look at that though, we got a pre-release right there. That looks awesome. And oh, another pre-release stamp. Did the other ones have pre-release? They did. I did not know Dragon Ball did pre-release cards, but look at this. Go Hanks. We got Gohan, obviously. Used with Go Tanks? Is that what this is? Go Hanks? <laughs> no. But I do like that pre release right there. The other ones did have the pre release. I didn't even notice. Look at that. Very cool. I'm glad I got three of these. That's sick. Let's see what we get this time. Let's see if we can get something cool. Let's see if we can get a Goku. I assume we can get a Goku. We got, oh freak, come on. Oh, that's the uncommon. The rare, another Turles. Oh, just two uncommons this time. I got ripped off, but they are pre-releases. Still pretty cool. Maybe, probably worth grading. Yeah, I would assume they are. Why not? Anything with a pre-release stamp is generally a pretty good thing. Really, I can't get over that horizontal card. I wonder if there's more in this set. Here we go, guys, you know the drill. We are trying to pull some secret rares, kind of. <laughs> we'll explain a little later, but let's see if we can pull some fire. I assume every single box has the normal, uh, what's it called? Probably two special rares per box. But yeah guys, new set, brand new, officially comes out in a week or two. Not sure exactly, 
And hey, look, there it is. <laughs> we got the pre-release version of you. Reverse rare and a launch. <laughs> very nice, very nice first pack magic. First pack, I mean. Check it out. Guys, seriously, I need to, I need to somehow catch up on all of my uh, Dragon Ball Super stuff because I just don't know. So I say it every single video. I just don't know so many of these characters. But it's all good, it's all good. We learn, we live to learn, am I right? Master Roshi, I'm serious guys, Master Roshi needs to get its uh, his own secret rare card. Toa, reverse uncommon, and a Sun Goku normal rare. All right guys, oh freak, I'm just going back and forth. I need to be doing a right left side versus right side. How about starting right now, we'll do that. Everything from the left, we got nice Raditz, we got your pre-release, a chew! <laughs> Look at, oh, poor Frieza. Man, guys, I have been trying to complete some Dragon Ball Super goals of mine. PyCon, we got you, pre-release style. Gogeta, sick looking card. Um, and it's been so fun. Literally, my mail days are, I'm just so anxious all day long <laughs> because I'm trying to get every single secret rare that has ever come, uh, come out, been released in Dragon Ball Super. And I do have a lot of them, most of them. I purchased a bunch of them. Go Hanks, another reverse rare, and a Lord Slug. Go Hanks, <laughs> what are these crazy uh, fusions that we're bringing to the table here? Um, yeah, I had a ton of them and just to spoil myself a little, I've been selling a ton of Pokemon stuff on eBay, and so I've been using those funds to try and buy some Krillin Common, very nice. Oh, special rare number one, one of the ones I wanted most, just because of that Cell. Check it out, the tag team duo, Frieza and Cell. Very nice card, very cool looking. Oh, baby, special rares, I love them. Gotta sleeve this guy up, cause it's going straight to PSA. So, oh yeah. Look at that guys, very nice big pull on the left side. Um, so yeah, I went on TCG Player, bought a bunch of secret rares that I don't have yet. And TCG Player is always a little scary, right? Because you don't exactly know how cards are gonna come in the mail. <laughs> One, they usually just sell it in like an envelope. Negative energy. Oh, our first super rare Piccolo Jr. Very cool looking. Nice. That's a sick looking card with his little stretch arm. <laughs> we'll take that. We'll take that. There's a very cool, a couple cool uh, Piccolo special rares. So that, that'll be interesting to pull. Uh, hopefully I pull... There's one of them where he's like blasting a freaking thing out of his mouth and then like Shenron is in the back. It looks amazing. Probably my number one, no, nah, number two special rare in this set. Um, freak, what was I saying? Oh yeah, TCG player, you just never know. Whoa, look at that leader. It's the back. Leader front. As we get a common Goku. And we get the super rare Goku. Look at him flexing. <laughs> Very nice, love little young Goku. Very cool. Um, most most TCG player shops just send in plain white envelope with um, you know inside a top loader so that is sketchy uh, in and of itself <laughs> and then I've noticed with some bigger purchases very cool Raditz card right there and a Bulma a unison card I wonder what that means I don't know the card game freak guys I'm sorry I can't <laughs> I need to focus just Talk about what I'm talking about. Very cool card right here. Most TCG shops just put uh, put everything that's like pack fresh as near mint, and I've gotten plenty of cards that have like little dents or near creases in the cards sold as near mint, but obviously that is not near mint. If you get anything like that graded, oh, oh, special rare number two. Check it out, the Janemba. Very cool looking card. Whoa, look at his crazy little uh, blast right there, that black hole. That looks awesome. Very cool looking card. I will take that. Left side's killing it right here, guys. Ooh, this one is a little textured, too. Not much, though. Very nice special rare. Um, freak. <laughs> so hard with DBS, because just too many cool pulls happening all the time. But yeah, anyway, 
if you send something with a dent or a crease, it's getting a PSA 6, like highest. That's just how it goes. So that is definitely not near mint. Very cool. Master Roshi Rare and a Med Matcha from Lord Slug. Um, so yeah, it's always scary buying from DCG Player, but overall DBS grades really well. That's why most people grade with um, Beckett. Tons of pristine and black labels when it comes to grading with uh, Beckett and Dragon Ball cards. Ooh, very cool Son Goku. Super Saiyan 3, baby! Temptation of the Mask. But yeah, I actually have a couple right here. I got the first Secret Rare ever, the Ultimate Force Vegito. Got the second one, Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Got some Majin Buu and a Frieza. And a very nice uh, special Rare Goku I didn't have. So yeah, uh, I did buy a couple... Yeah, you heard me. A couple Broly's. It was not cheap. <laughs> and then I was gonna buy the Zeno Cell because I need that one still. And that one's like $250. It's one of the most expensive secret rare cards out there. Ooh, look at that King Piccolo. Very cool looking reverse right there. And a Gogeta. Last pack on the left. The left has killed it. Two super rares and two special rares. That's gonna be really hard to beat. Um, but, freak, I forgot what I was saying already. The Curse of Omash, always forgetting what I say. I, it's just so hard, because I'm focusing on these cards. Like, look at that. <laughs> Lord, Slug, and a Salsa. Very cool left side. Now we're getting into the right side. See if the right side could compete at all. Um, but yeah, guys, I just love Dragon Ball Super. Like, these cards are so good. Still don't know what to do with all my bulk. I have boxes and boxes of bulk. No one takes Dragon Ball bulk. Kill Driver, what is that? And a Dragon Thunder, youch. <laughs> um, but regarding this set, and technically the last set, a bunch of people were upset as the leaks were happening. Ooh, that's a cool Gogeta. If we could get that in a reverse, that'd be awesome. Uh, because they released the secret rares and once again the secret rares were like what out of all the cards you could do very cool trunks Ooh, that is a sick Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta super rare. That is a cool looking card Woo I love Super Saiyan 3 guys you have to comment right now. What is the best Super Saiyan level? one two three four <laughs> I guess we can uh, include the gods but I'm just, I'm thinking of the first four. What is this? Bulma Confident Friend. What year is that? I don't remember that year. <laughs> um, yes. There's, there are, I do like one of the secret rares in this set. It's a Kid Boo. Ooh, nice SR right there, whoever you are. Masked King. Um, it's a Boo card. It's probably the better secret rare out of a, the other, uh, out of the three. But yeah, overall, it just doesn't look like the Secret Rares have texture like they used to. And a lot of people are just, they're not a fan. Pycon, Reverse Rare. And one of the Secret Rares is this like, Kai girl. I don't even know her name. But why would you, out of all the characters, why would you give that girl uh, a Secret Rare? I mean, seriously? Before Master Roshi, come on! <laughs> Nova Shenron, Uncommon and a Fruit of the Tree of Might. There's that Tree of Might movie. I need to go watch that still. Um, so yeah, once again, just like Vermilion Bloodline, the special rares are where it's at. The special rares have some crazy texture. They're so cool, and really, so many of the special rares are just better, hey, we just saw you, than the special, uh, yeah, special rares. Mechi, Mechi Kabura, the King Summon, SR. The right side again, all the SRs, but I think we already pulled our two special rares for this box. You never know what can happen though. We could pull that secret rare out of nowhere. Uh, I believe I was told that Dragon Ball, double the trouble. <laughs> um, they upped the odds of instead of one special or secret rare per case of 12 boxes, absolutely insane, they increased it to two. <laughs> so a little better odds, but yeah, they're also um, Yamcha putting out more special rares and secret rares anyway. 
like old sets, it was just one secret rare in the whole set. Uh, maybe two, but now it's pretty common to see three. And so, yeah, if we get lucky, hopefully we get some secret rares, because even if they aren't, aren't cool, shoe, nice little reverse hollow there, and a Lord Slug. Um, I still have to get them all. I want to get them all. Every single secret rare I ever made, super cool. And I am also collecting um, all of the main series um, sealed boxes. I love the artwork on them. I love how they look. Dragon Thunder. Last pack for this box, guys. Got the two very nice special rares. Let's see if we can do something a little extra. Get some last pack magic here before we get into our second box. Vegeta. Um, and so, yeah, out of all of the series so far, I'm only missing two boxes. It's super exciting. Turl's Reverse Leader and no last pack magic, big last pack magic anyway. Let's crack open this other box and get right into it. All right guys, box number two. Let's see if we get another horizontal card. That's what I want. <laughs> that thing was sick. Oh, we didn't, unfortunately. But we get a very nice textured SR Bergamo. I don't know if that's a reprint or not, but I do like that texture. That looks real nice. Very cool. Uh, obviously, left side won that last time. <laughs> Two SRs. Let's see what the left side has this time. See if the right side can beat with this, uh, beat the left side this box. Um, but yeah, guys, out of all the boxes so far that have come out, PyCon, Janemba. I have all of the boxes except two. The two that I need are the big hitters. <laughs> They're the big boys. We got the Tournament of Power, which is absolutely crazy. Um, that box is selling for at least $2,000 right now. So nuts. And then Universal Onslaught, which is going Ginyu. Very nice. Piano. <laughs> um, uh, Universal Onslaught's like anywhere from, I've seen six to 800 bucks. So pretty hefty for a Dragon Ball Super box, but yeah, two boxes away. I will keep one of my um, Vicious Rejuvenation boxes sealed and so I can put it in my collection. We got SR number one, Turles, baby. Very nice, left side pole, left side. Just killing it so far. Man, I just want to know more about these horizontal cards. Like what are those? Um, but yeah, other big special rares. There's a very nice looking uh, Young Goku special rare. It's probably my number one chase. Kill Driver, Master Roshi. Um, I think it looks the best. We've already talked about the Piccolos. I want the one with the Shenron in the back. It just looks so good. And then, oh, there's a PyCon special rare. I wouldn't mind that. We already got the Janemba. I can't remember any like villain special rares. Go Hanks. <laughs> I can't get over that. But we're about to pull two more. Hopefully we don't double up. We've gotten two out of the 10 special rares. And so we will see what else we can pull. Oh, but yeah guys, Dragon Ball Super. Ooh, really love the look of that card. Oh, there is the Ginyu special rare. Cool looking card, because it looks like Goku. <laughs> we all know what this is from, Frieza Saga, but super cool card. Ginyu, a new transformation. Really guys, the special rares are just where it's at with this set. The texture is there. The cards just look cooler, right? Left side again with the special rare pull. Now remember with um, Dragon Ball Super, you can get God Packs. I believe God Packs are two per case as well. If it's not two, then it's at least one. We'll double the trouble once again, Shroom and Salsa. <laughs> Someone was hungry when they were coming up with those names. But yeah, pr preferably, uh, obviously, I would want the Secret Rare, because it's either you get a Secret Rare in a box or a God Pack, if you're gonna get one of those luckier boxes. Um, but I was saying the Dragon Ball Super World is growing, guys. It's growing more and more and more. Um, I'm getting more people uh, messaging me regarding Dragon Ball stuff on Instagram. 
The prices of cards just keep on going up as well. This pack's being a little difficult. Um, I believe the Awakened Power, the, you know, Chase, the Big Grail of Dragon Ball Super, it just keeps on going higher and higher with um, eBay sales. It's pretty nuts. I think the last one was close to, if not, past $4,000 for a PSA 10. So that that's, that's a good thing when you see um, cards like that sell and just keep on going up in price. It's always good. And what's interesting in that a lot of people don't realize that want to get into Dragon Ball Super, TN, what's up? And a more Turles, SR. How many Turles are there in this set? <laughs> um, with, there are no reprints with Dragon Ball Super like Pokemon. Once the a set comes out, it has its two to three months until the next set comes out, and then the printing is done. I don't know how much exactly, very nice looking Raditz, and a Bulma. I don't know exactly how much product is made during those, you know, the two months, or I guess they'd be printing a ton before um, the actual release, but I do know that there are no reprints and that just ups value like crazy. Whereas Pokemon, they're doing new stuff all the time. Sun Gohan and a Ginyu. <laughs> this is the Ginyu box. Look at that pose. <laughs> Left side with another SR. Let's see what uh, special rare the right side comes up with. Maybe a secret rare as well. You never know. You never know. Um, but yeah. Pokemon, Hidden Fates, for example, came out in 2019. They've done so many reprints of Hidden Fates. Soul Cleaning! And that is our special rare number two. We got the Omega Shenron. Cool looking card. Love that he's doing an epic blast. But it's an Omega Shenron. <laughs> Not everyone's favorite. But hey, I'll take it. Special rare number four. Still need plenty more cards to search for with Vicious Rejuvenation, which I'm 100% for, because usually with Dragon Ball stuff, I open like once and then we're kind of done, but I do have more coming. Very nice Vegeta, Salsa. Um, and so once those arrive, I will be opening those up, going hunting once again. But yeah, what was I saying? Talking about prices, value. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. <laughs> the more Vegeta's. Oh, look at that little baby. <laughs> Tag of the Demon Clan. The more reprints there are, the more, uh, cards and stuff there are to get your hands on, which brings the price down. Leader back. Ooh, that's actually kind of a cool leader card. I'll take that. Um, but yeah, it's not happening with Dragon Ball, so that is why <laughs> it's getting scary the longer I wait to buy a Tournament of Power box and Universal Onslaught, because they're just going to get harder and harder to get your hands on, and that just means the price is going to go up more, up and up and up. But yeah, hopefully one day I can get all of them um, and just keep my little sealed collection going. I really enjoy it. Double Janemba right there, very cool looking. And a Lord Slug SR. Very nice. I've, I'm losing count of everything that we're pulling. But that's, if you think about it, a DBZ, a DBS case is 12 booster boxes. Um, other than maybe the secret rares, you can get every single card in the set <laughs> in 12 booster boxes. I mean, we're, we've pulled plenty of doubles already and we've only opened two boxes. Look at this guy, Lord Slug Zeno. That thing in the middle of its chest. Cool King Piccolo. See, so yeah, I think uh, maybe they should switch it up like Pokemon. Six boxes per case. Six boxes, go Hanks! <laughs> Get out of here, Ginyu. Coming to the tail end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy these DBS cards. Um, I really love opening them. I love collecting the stuff. I wish I knew more about like the actual card game because I do know it's pretty popular and pretty fun from what I hear. Uh, Raid Shenron, 
And Lord Slug SR, look at that buff dude. <laughs> I remember we owned Lord Slug the VHS as growing up as kids, and so I've seen that movie so many times. It's insane. <laughs> but I loved it growing up. It was so awesome. Goku almost going Super Saiyan, just like that intermediate level. Oh, so cool. So awesome. But yeah, I wish I could talk a little more about like the card game and things when it comes to Dragon Ball Z. If we talk if we talk anime, I can talk the anime all day long, which actually just reminded me, I'm also wanting to did any of you guys own the VHS um, Dragon Ball Z move videos, like episodes? They are so cool because if you get all of them and put them next to each other, they uh, they form a sick picture. So I'm kind of wanting to hunt and buy them all. Um, just for display, just as a collection. So awesome. <laughs> VHS. I would just remember when VHS were, was like the crazy cool thing. Everyone had a VHS. Son Goku again and a Med Matcha. But yeah, that's just kind of a side quest. We'll see if it ever happens. But I think it'd be super cool because the picture of the VHSs are just awesome. But last pack magic, guys, of the first look of this new set, Vicious Rejuvenation. Love this reverse card. No last pack magic. But guys, we got some killer special rares, killer super rares, and like I just said, we got a first look before release date of the new set coming out, Vicious Rejuvenation, and it was awesome. I can't wait to get more of this stuff. We got a lot more special rares and hopefully some secret rares to pull. And I'm going to do it with you guys, the Omash Nation. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You're all awesome. I hope you have the best weekend and I will catch you next time.